Alright, so hey guys, welcome to another Warframe video, and today I want to talk a little bit about another one of the new arbitration mods, Howard Donation, more specifically about its interaction with Nova and her Molecular Prime. Now this one is relatively easy to get, you can simply buy it for 15 Vitus Essence from the Arbitration Honors NPC that you will find in the Arbiter of Hexes room on any of the relays. Now this one is actually an aura that gives you the same amount of mod capacity as the charge, which is pretty cool, and what it does is it gives you 30% negative power strength while giving your teammates 30% positive power strength. Or you can put it on a speed Nova setup and use it to speed enemies up even further. But first things first, let's actually go over my new speed Nova setup. I'm unfortunately not sure what the format setup is anymore because I reformat my Nova twice I think now, but anyway, the aura is obviously power donation which isn't reflected on the stat screen in your orbiter, but if you go into the simulacrum it will actually subtract the 30% power strength. I then decided to slap on coaction drift because it boosts the power of your aura, so power donation actually gives me more negative power strength. I followed that up with brand continuity, constitution, narrow minded and auger message for as much duration as possible because it will increase the duration of the wave so it will travel further. Then I have overextended which is mandatory for this setup because it reduces your power strength so you speed enemies up rather than slowing them down and I finished it off with streamlined for some efficiency, vitality for a bunch of extra health because we're buffing the enemies up quite a bit so we need some defense in there and I finished it off with enemy sense which when combined with animal instinct on your companion gives you massive loot radar. And this is very much just a quality of life mod so you don't have to use it if you don't want to and you can use natural talent or something like that but I like it because it shows me where the enemies are so I can time my molecule their prime much better. Now as you already saw, this setup will speed the enemies up quite considerably, they should have roughly around 70-ish percent more movement and attack speed. And while that sounds pretty good, I wanted to see how much of an effect it actually has in a defense mission. So I decided to do some testing on Kadesh, which is a dark sector infested defense on Mars. Now since me just fighting the enemies wouldn't give me very reliable data because it would be more about how fast can I clear the enemies rather than how much this setup will speed the mission up. I decided to do all the damage with a Zenny Star disc that I tried to throw at the same spot every time. And I did one set of runs where I was just using the Zenny Star disc, then I did another set of runs where I was using the Zenny Star disc and a Speed Nova with just overextended, and then the final third set of runs where I was once again using the Zenny Star disc and a Speed Nova with Narrow Minded, Power Donation and Coaction Drift. And I was trying to figure out two things. Number one, how much time will you actually save by using this setup in a quick 5 wave defense, so if you're farming credits on something like Akkad. And number two, how much time will you save off of each wave, which would be relevant for when you're farming something in a defense mission and you're gonna stay there for more than 5 waves. And the results are kind of interesting, so I was averaging about 40 seconds per wave with just the Zenistar Star disc, 35 seconds per wave with a standard speed build, and 29 seconds per wave with the speed build that also had power donation and coaction drift. And by the way, I started the measurement when the timer reached a zero and I stopped it when the wave cleared message appeared. I also removed wave 5 from my measurements because on that wave you have to kill a MOA and an Ancient by yourself which would create some inconsistencies, so those are averages from waves 1 to 4. So a standard speed nova build with just overextended by itself will speed the wave up by about 13-ish percent, and the new Speed Nova build, which has overextended, power donation and coaction drift, will speed it up by about 27-ish percent. Which, when translated to the full mission duration, means that you will roughly save about a minute off of each mission. But you do have to bear in mind that this is just how much time the build will shave off itself. If you help it out a little bit and you pick off the last few stragglers quickly, you can shave off a lot more time. Especially since the faster the enemies are moving, the more likely they are to get stuck. This was actually causing me some issues, because when I was just using the Zenistar, the time it took to do each wave was super consistent, but as soon as I started using even the standard Speed Nova with just overextended, enemies started to get stuck. And it got even worse when I started using the new version of Speed Nova with power donation and all. I was getting at least one enemy stuck every mission. Though that may just have something to do with AI, because it seems derpier than usual right now. And by the way, you're not actually seeing any of my test runs, I did them by myself earlier and then I just recorded some extra runs for the video. But it's still a very good representation of what the test runs were like because I had no issues when I was just using the Zenith Star disc, I got one enemy stuck when I was using standard Speed Nova and I got two enemies stuck when I was using Speed Nova with power donation. 
And I think that's enough rambling for today, so in conclusion, for this specific mission, a standard speed nova was speeding the waves up by about 13% and a speed nova with power donation and coaction drift was speeding them up by about 27%. But the results could be a lot better if the AI wasn't getting stuck all the bloody time, because if I take out all the waves where the AI got stuck with the super speed nova belt, it would actually run the waves almost twice as fast. And that is enough of that, so I thank you very much for watching, as always guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video and my rambling, and I shall see you next time. Bye bye.